welcome to MWCC News. I'm Brent, and this is your November edition. We really only have two things to talk to you about this month, but they're both important, and they're both actually pretty exciting. One, we have election results in from our club elections, and two, we have new club kit designs. It is new kit day for the club. So, let's start with the elections. As you all know, you received your electronic or mail-in ballots or whatever you want to call them via survey, and we had four positions, as we do every year, up for election. President, Vice President, Treasurer, and Secretary. Three of those positions, as we talked about in last month's news, were unopposed, although there were write-in options. But let me go ahead and tell you that all of those, the nominated candidates, won. There were no write-in upsets or anything crazy like that. So. Congratulations to our president, Kim King, our treasurer, Troy Otmer, and our secretary, Sabrina Strong. Now, vice president had no accepted nominations going into the vote, and so it was right in only. And I'm happy and excited to tell you that Jeff Donnelly has accepted the nomination for vice president of the Northwest Cycling Club. Most of you know Jeff has been our volunteer coordinator for a bit now. I'm not really sure how this is going to overlap with that. I know some of the volunteer coordinating duties have been made easier through our new websites platform. We'll find that out next year. We didn't really get to use it this year, unfortunately. We're hoping for the Blue Bonnet Express. But Jeff is now our new vice president. And as far as the other board positions, most of you know that we have the four elected positions and that all of the other positions are appointed and serve as volunteers, things like senior games coordinator, the volunteer coordinator, etc., etc. I don't have any news about any changes or anything like that, or if anyone is stepping down or deciding not to work, or if anyone new is stepping in. Those will happen later if anything does happen, and we'll let you know when that news becomes available. But for right now, our four positions, president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer are set. So congratulations to all of our officers that are incoming. Thank you to all of those who served last year, especially, you know, Angela, we know you're moving away. You served as our secretary this year. So for those of you that, that know Angela, please reach out and thank her. Wish her and Peter well as they move away, even though they'll still be part of our club family. Next up, let's talk about club kits. We've got a new jersey design, which I think is fantastic. I know that's subjective, but I think they look great. I've already ordered one. I've ordered a few. But, uh, and I wish, I wish I had those to model for you today. But if I was seen modeling it, maybe nobody would want it. But we're looking at a pre-Christmas delivery, hopefully. So let's take a look at what this new kit looks like. First and foremost, uh, I should say before we take a look at those kits, that there is now only one jersey for the entire club. Uh, at one point we had many jerseys, uh, I think the count was over 20 at some point. We had a the general club design jersey, which we had both via Vi13 and Pactimo. Uh, I should tell you that we are only going with Vi13, our club sponsor at this point. There will not be two club stores to buy kits through from two manufacturers anymore. It's only Vi13. There is no race team jersey and club jersey. There's no off-road race team jersey. Uh, there's We're just one jersey for everybody. We're one club one look, everybody wears the same thing. So we are now, uh, we're sort of uh, affectionately, Dave Roberts, our race team director, dubbed this the Unity Jersey. So we will all look the same, which I think is great. Uh, the unified branding, the unified look, you see anybody on the road wearing this, you're gonna instantly know that's a Northwest Cycling Club jersey. Whether you're in the club or not, it's gonna be readily identifiable. It takes some elements from previous designs, advances those a little bit. Uh, it's still in our club colors, and so, Let's go take a look at what this thing looks like. You'll find the link to this store on our club website. Make sure you check it out under the news, under New Kit Day. And you'll see that uh, we also are going to have the high viz kits available for those who want them, both in yellow and also in pink. And there are other club options too, as far as bibs, masks, etc. here on the Vi13 store, which you can again find via our website. Now, these jerseys were designed so they can just go with your previous bibs. You don't necessarily need to buy new bibs, um, but the a slight redesign of the bibs are available. One more thing to note, you'll see that the price 
on these jerseys is a little bit higher than it's been in the past. That's because in the quality hierarchy at Vi13, our previous jerseys were the lowest level, generally speaking. They were the Neo line. These are up a tier from that. They are higher quality, better fabrics, will feel better, will last longer. And as we increase the volume of orders for the club, ideally those prices will come down. If you have any questions about those, please ask, but get your orders in. And if we get enough orders in timely, there's a great chance that we'll have those new look club kits before Christmas. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to get out and ride around in those things. That's pretty much all of our news for this month. Keep in mind, remember our club Christmas party was canceled by the vendor. Eureka Heights is not allowing us to have our club party there based on the pandemic. Are we going to have an online general club meeting yet? I don't know. Stay tuned, you'll get that via email if we do. And if not, we will still have a December Club News Edition, and I'll catch you then. Until then, grab your helmet, grab your bike, and get riding.